What's up y'all, Henry from the PSI Defense Channel coming to you with another video. As you can see, I got the PSI Defense Channel Titan back out. And I tested it yesterday with the Mercy Less Lethal Power Barrel. And as you can see, I've got that rubber grommet in there to hold it in place. And what I wanna to do today is do a comparison test. The Mercy Less Lethal Barrel versus the SSD One Barrel. VKS barrel metal detents. Um, the only difference is it's a half an inch longer than the uh, Mercy Less Lethal barrel because it's threaded. So I have this Lapco uh, flash hider. I like it because it has this really aggressive um, tactical crown. So if you're out of ammo, you know, you can jam somebody with your muzzle in the face. I don't think that would be a very pleasant experience for that individual. But yeah, gonna test that out. And I have a surprise at the end for you guys. Going HP 68 today in a 10 round mag. Alright. Get the chronograph. Now I can't find my safety glasses, but, I, but these do have polycarbonate lenses in them. So they do offer me a level of protection. Do not recommend firing this, trap shooting, target shooting, any kind of shooting other than an emergency situation where you can't help it to not wear safety eye protection. Do that at your own risk. Stuff is very dangerous. I had a video where um, a ricochet hit me back in the finger and I almost broke it. Dan Sterling actually did break his finger. So always wear eye protection, guys. Mercy Less Lethal Power Barrel, 464. 464, let's get one more. 456. All right. This is my first time using one of Sterling's one barrels. I'm pretty excited to see the results. Let me fix my trap. Okay, so push it in kind of past. Oh, let me try to get that grommet out a little bit first. There we go. In goes the VKS one barrel. I really like the CNC milling, how it's got two tone, as you can see, metal detents right there. All right. See what Sterling. See what Sterling's talking about. Okay, I see what he was saying as far as being able to clear jams. It does lock into position there. Locks into position with the hopper, but you just don't have to push in so hard. You can actually turn it and it will lock without pushing it in so deep. All right. So Sterling says that's the safety feature. He did get his, all of his own CNC mapping done himself, so he was able to do it exactly like uh, the stock BKS barrel, but he chose to alter it in that way. I'm just going to put this rubber grommet in here to center the barrel because that is a free floating hand guard. All right, there it goes. Still a nice medium package, just a little bit longer because of the flash hider. But if I didn't have that on there, basically the same length with a half an inch difference for the threads. If you want, you can just put some kind of thread protector there. But for me, the Titan looks really good like that as well. All right, let's see what kind of numbers we're getting. Oh, goodness gracious, Sterling. 490, yo. 470 496 yeah one barrel to rule them all he says all right so there's that 
told you guys I had a special surprise for you at the end. ADN's drum mag loaded with Z-Rams. So we're all wanting to know, does the new ADN mag fire Z-Rams? And I'm about to find out. It's a little tricky though because they like to move around a little bit. So I found that I have to be cautious. Um, I talked to Scott Allen and he has got to get another spring for the ball detent because the one that he had made is proving to be insufficient. But that being said, you want to be you want to make sure, especially with shaped projectiles, that when you load this thing, that everything is lined up properly for your best results. So I'm going to push the activator and allow that to feed the ammunition up through. Until it gets up there to the top. Yeah, because they move around a little bit in there, so it really wasn't I really don't have the same amount of problem with the HPs, but I got it all the way up against the ball beat tent. I'm gonna be very cautious. Like I'm engaged, locked, and loaded. Yeah, let's see what Z Ram's doing. Sterling's barrel. Gotta fix the trap. It's 490 FPS with HP's kind of put a hurt on it. Now I see why all his HP's have all that hair from his ballistic nylon. Alright. Boy, look at that. Sorry guys, this is not for sale, and my one barrels are not for sale yet. Once I get some more, if I can get some inventory off of it, I can start using them for builds. But he's so busy building these things. Okay, got a jam. Not surprising because they're not really fitting super good in there, but. If you can see that but it's tumbled inside of there so yeah first try with the z-rams it's not a success doesn't mean that it's not possible but i haven't figured it out yet but what i have figured out is ssd one barrel is a bad mother a real bad mother so hit daniel sterling up at www.sterlingselfdefense.com if you want to get a one barrel um, he actually has some of these and as you can see, I, I've shot really great with HPs. Round balls are good with those. Uh, he's got some of those on his website. Uh, he's got one barrels. He's got launchers. I've got launchers. I'm more of a, a custom um, shop. I don't have like a whole lot of inventory of launchers. I am, like as you guys saw, uh, inventorying a lot of Z-Rams to be a local distributor for you guys. I've got Grimbergs available. Um, all of their products available for distribution um, and of course all of my custom builds you know you guys can hit me up psi.defense.channel at gmail.com for any of your less lethal needs any of your less lethal questions um, and yeah you guys be careful be safe with your less lethal be responsible uh, make sure you show some love today take care of yourselves and each other peace